it is the first of many steps to go from proposal to permanent. In Austin today, a number of gun safety bills were presented. Some under the radar like House Bill 1007, keeping guns out of group homes for vulnerable populations. How many more must pay the ultimate price before we close these loopholes? Or House Bill 1138, which stiffens penalties for firing recklessly into the air. The word reckless bothers me. But it's House Bill 2744 many are talking about. It would raise the age to buy assault weapons to 21. We live in a time when the sanctity of the Second Amendment is given higher priority than the lives of our community members. Families of Uvalde victims met in Austin this morning and are prepared to testify with the Community Safety Select Committee. We've had to come up here damn near every week, you know, and it shouldn't have to be this way. Other bills call for strict oversight of firearms dealers. Another would require an instant criminal background check for private dealers. And finally, a bill that would require three business days from the time a gun is purchased and delivered. They chose to do nothing and now my son is dead as because of that. The lawmakers proposing the bills know it's an uphill battle. The Republican controlled legislature has historically denied gun control measures. These aren't unreasonable asks. Their hope is those testifying on behalf of their lost loved ones will make a difference. In Dallas, I'm Jovan Punnicker.